The third civil rights movement, the modern civil rights movement, started at the end of World War II, 46 on up to 1970. And that's the one that, became, that was the most successful in modern in recent times, but that gave us the updated voting rights of 1965. Now, everyone talking about the past, back, um, Black Wall Street, which was named that was given by Booker T. Washington himself to the to the town in Missouri. I, I get I got it. I guess I may have got it wrong. The name of this uh, state, but it might be Missouri. We could go back to that. Have our own bank. We got there's one bank that's still around. Black owned bank called Industrial Bank. Been around since the time of the Great Depression. Founded in D.C. Northeast Washington D.C. in the 19 between 1929 and 1936, you can look it up. The bank still standing, still cornerstone the black community in that city, and its branches are still open in other communities in, in the United States. Not as many as it used to be because of the recent recessions. But it's still holding on and, and giving bank loans to qualified bl black families, business um, entrepreneurs. So we have that. We can build on that. We got black businesses that still open, that have been open for 50 years. We have some that have been open for 20 years now. 30 years, 40, you get the message, you get the point. But I, I mean, we could go back and forward on who did this and that. It's about what's going on now. We need more people to be out here to register to vote. And that's the problem. We, we lost voting power. At the same time, we're about getting enough economic power. You gotta have both, you gotta have economic justice and civil rights, social justice. You have economic rights. So this is just my two cents about things. I see everyone else from rappers, turn activists, to other people going and because they've been reading books with me. Now, I read some, I, I always read every month different struggle books. I mean, I have a book that I got, my mother bought me years ago when I was uh, 18 or 19. The African American Heritage Encyclopedia, because I was into history since high, since I was 15 years old, 14, and I may may not be uh, knowledgeable of all things historical, right? because there's a lot of stuff to cover. You can't remember everything, so I go to the library every month, check out books twice a month twice a month I check out books and I refresh myself on history I, ref I catch up on history so and I look at comments on Facebook we got all these um, different sites on here uh, I can bring up we got Vintage News we got um Sites for black empowerment and stuff and, and that and um, different point of views. And everyone think they know what think they know what's right to solve today issues. I mean, we got people keep misusing the word Uncle Tom, which is stupid. Not knowing the history of the word, they using the definition that was created by racist white folks to put down black men that that do things differently from other black men that pretty much put us against one another. I mean, they, people think they know everything, but they don't know the whole story. They know bits and pieces of things and trying to... You can't do that. Now, I... Like I said, student history. And I 
do my best to do my homework, study things. Focus on them. 